Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Demi Lovato is being trolled online after her private Instagram account recently got leaked. So many celebrities have private Instagrams for their close friends and family, not fans, and Demi's one recently got exposed. So someone leaked Demi Lovato's Finster, that's what people are calling her private Instagram account, and it's caused a massive controversy online. Because I mean, she was ruthless. And it's not a fake account either, because Demi Lovato was live streaming on the account with her boyfriend and someone screen recorded it and leaked it. Nice to meet you, Libby. Mm -hmm. Hi! Oh! <laughs> hey, you! Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. How are you? You cute. I accept. <laughs> Okay, okay. Where are you going? What are you Not only that, but multiple big celebrities follow this account. And why else would they do that? Why would they follow a random Finster account? Because they all detest Selena Gomez. And Demi was constantly talking shit about Selena Gomez on this account. The Instagram account is called Trauma Queen Forever. And the screenshots show mean and spiteful captions and images about Selena Gomez, who was once Demi's best friend. So let's rewind a little before we delve into the saucy, saucy drama. Selena and Demi, former Disney stars, have had an on and off friendship for years. And recently, Demi Lovato told Harper's Bazaar magazine that she has a lot of love for Selena Gomez, but she's not friends with her. Demi also said, When you grow up with somebody, you're always going to have that love for them, but I'm not friends with her. I will always have love for her, and I wish everybody nothing but the best. Demi also exposed in her interview that she's no longer friends with the Jonas Brothers, but she's close with Miley Cyrus. Now, I didn't know this. I was always under the impression that Selena and Demi were best friends, and therefore Demi didn't hang out with Miley much because Selena hated Miley with a passion. Miley and Selena were feuding for years because Miley's first love was Nick Jonas, and then he cheated on her with Selena Gomez, and then he even dated Selena for a bit. It was a big mess back in the day. So if Demi is now all of a sudden at besties with Miley, what does this tell us? It all comes down to a little green demon called Jealousy. This spinster account is Demi's, and it's time to dig deep and have a look at some of these receipts that have surfaced, and maybe we can get a better understanding of the motives behind this account, and subsequently why Demi doesn't like Selena. Someone had commented on one of her photos saying, you didn't even have to go to Walmart and buy your own copies. That's what the F I'm talking about. She had replied, ha ha ha, savage. Demi also included a photo of herself holding up a magazine of her and Selena Gomez on the cover, with Selena Gomez's face scribbled out. The caption had read, you can call me Petite LaBelle. There was also a photo of them together with Nicki Minaj, and the caption read, and this would never happen. Hashtag Photoshop. <gasps> scandalous. Demi had also included a screenshot of an article about their friendship. It had stated, I asked Lovato if she is still in contact with the Jonas Brothers. She shakes her head. No. I talked to Miley Cyrus. She said pointedly. She's awesome and I love her to death and always will. Always have. But I think she's kind of the only one from that era that I still stay in touch with. According to Lovato, she's not currently close with Selena Gomez either. The two were inseparable in their early Disney years. Gomez though, posted a supportive Instagram story after Lovato's performance at the Grammys. When you grow up with somebody, you're always going to have love for them, but I'm not friends with her, so it felt dot dot dot. Lovato stops herself. I will always have love for her, and I wish everybody nothing but the best. The caption on this post had said, ha ha ha, oopsies. I really did try to keep my and mouth shut, I swear. There's definitely something wrong with this finster, and it's time we dug deep. Both Demi and Selena are problematic celebrities. They're both just as bad as one another, and they've both done some unspeakable things over the years. And the one thing that I can't stand with Selena is that she's always pulling the victim card. She always wants her fans to feel sorry for her and she loves gaining sympathy on a huge scale. Like I'm not saying her problems aren't valid, everyone's problems are problems, but there's a lot more bigger issues in the world that you should be guiding your hundreds of millions of fans to sympathise over. So that's what I personally can't stand about Selena Gomez. Timmy Lovato on the other hand, she inserts herself into drama all the time. Like there's just so many times she could have easily just shut her mouth and not commented on posts that start controversies. So what can we learn from this backstabbing friendship? Well the main motive behind people backstabbing others is a need for power. So we mentioned before why Demi could possibly be jealous of Selena and no longer want to be friends with her anymore after the years and years of friendship. It might be because Selena, although she's not a very good singer, like she doesn't have anywhere near as a powerful voice as Demi, while her singing career has taken off over the years. And Demi's really hasn't. Demi is notably a better singer and she probably knows this too, which could be the reason for her deep-rooted secret hate towards Selena, as we can see that she's let out online. It's also interesting to note that 
these women are almost 30 and even their fans are saying they're acting like middle schoolers because this drama with the whole finster is just so immature. If you don't like someone as an adult, normally you decide to remove yourself from their presence or either you bring up an issue to their face. But a finster account? A secret account to bash your ex bestie? That's a pretty low blow. The sole purpose of backstabbing is to gain the upper hand and garner power. Now backstabbing can come in a range of forms from co-workers, countries backstabbing each other, politics, but backstabbing friends represents a whole different breed of evil. A friend that secretly hates you and loves to watch you suffer and talks about you behind your back, it all stems from jealousy. When a friend backstabs you, the pain is just overwhelming. And I can't even imagine how Celine is feeling right now. Like they probably both decided at the time of their friendship ending to not make things messy public because they both want to protect their image. But I think three years later, Demi's grown up a lot and she has this huge I don't give an F energy. And that's why I think she literally didn't care if she got caught making the spinster. Who's the spinster to impress though? I reckon there's a whole little group of celebrities who detest Selena and those are the ones who are following that account. That's who Demi was getting appraisal from because she certainly wouldn't get that type of appraisal from her fans because she shares a lot of the same fans as Selena. So what is the root of Selena and Demi's problems? Where does all this hatred stem from? I mean I'm sure Selena surpassing Demi's singing career has a lot to do with it but if you read up on their friendship over time and their history it tells a lot about their current situation. The two met when they both starred on Barney and Friends together back in the 90s and then they both joined the Disney Channel around the same time, both starring in their own TV shows and they worked together as well a few times. They've had falling outs over the years and they've both talked about this and how they've grown apart but the main reason for this was because apparently Selena grew super close with Taylor and left Demi out quite a bit. In an interview back in 2010 when Demi was asked about her relationship with Selena she said something along the lines of, oh I don't know why don't you go and ask Taylor? Meow meow. The last time the pair were seen being friends was back in 2017. The pair have not been seen together since. So why did Demi not like Taylor Swift? Aha, a similar reason to why Selena and Miley had their feud. It was over a Jonas brother. So before you get all like, why are they all sharing their mans with each other? Let's pin the blame on these Jonas brothers, they appear to be F boys. Well celebrities don't really have much of a choice when it comes to the dating world and they've got to kind of date within their circle because they have trouble trusting people. And in these Disney stars cases, the only guys they were really mingling with was with other Disney Channel stars. So Taylor Swift dated Joe Jonas back in 2008 and then he went on to date Demi Lovato in 2010, which is quite a gap in the dating scene if you think about it. But people believe that Demi was interested in Joe Jonas long before they starred together in Camp Rock, which was when they started dating. So this is where Demi's hate for Selena is also believed to stem from. Demi was best friends with Selena through her and Miley's feud over Nick Jonas, but when Demi was having a silent feud with Taylor Swift over another Jonas brother, Selena was off being besties with Taylor. Demi probably felt left behind too when Selena was hanging out more with Taylor Swift. So fast forward to this year where Demi was mentioning Selena in her Harper's Bazaar interview and how they were no longer friends. Of course she said it in a nice PR friendly way, like she wasn't exactly about to come out and say, oh by the way I hate her and I have a Finster account dedicated towards her and how much I despise her. No, of course not. But it came out not long after. I mean when you're live streaming on a private hate account you're kind of asking for trouble in my opinion. Maybe Demi wanted people to find this Finster account, who knows? So what can we learn from this whole messy situation? We can learn about how to deal with backstabbing friends. What has Selena done in this instance? She hasn't responded to any of the drama. Dealing with backstabbers is an art form that requires a different strategy than dealing with manipulative friends. Selena is probably thinking very carefully before she acts because there is still a lot of speculation as to whether or not the Finster account is real or not. I mean I personally believe it is because Demi was live streaming on it with her boyfriend but other people aren't so sure because Demi hasn't confirmed it herself. Selena is probably dealing with this backstabbing friend by beating Demi at her own game without actually backstabbing. How is she doing this you might ask? Ever heard of an old saying keep your friends close and your enemies closer? She's probably acting all unbothered. Demi's more than likely contacted her getting all defensive saying things like oh it's just the media blowing things out of proportion like they normally do and Selena's going oh yeah got nothing but love for you babes and then going back to ghosting her or hanging out even more with Taylor Swift. At the end of the day a backstabbing friend most likely won't change. If the friendship is over, like in Selena and Demi's case it has been for the past three years, then worrying about hurt feelings shouldn't be an issue. A cool calm and collected approach to a backstabber is the best way to go, after you've cooled off of course, because as Selena Gomez once sang, kill them with kindness. And 
and I reckon she's doing just that. What are your thoughts on all this drama? Let me know in the comments. That's all for this investigation, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, my social media will be linked down below, and I'll see you guys in our next investigation. Thank you